Hello everyone, you're on to healthy options with Mori. Today we'll be making a salad, it's actually the Sogum Cucumba Salad. Last week we talked about Sogum or Dawa, it's a local grain, it's common here in Africa and it has loads of nutritional value. So I want to start talking to you about how you can introduce or incorporate this in your meals and really enjoy it. Whenever you make your Dawa and beans for instance, Always cook up a big batch of sorghum because you can take out some and refrigerate them just before you start adding your seasoning. The good thing about sorghum is that it can stay for a long time in the refrigerator once it's not seasoned and it's something you can always go to whenever you want to make this salad or whatsoever salad. You can incorporate it in any salad just like the way you incorporate your quinoa or other cereals that are used for salads. Come with me as you make this. I know for sure you will like this. Please, if you've not subscribed, don't forget to do so by subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Thank you. So for our sorghum cucumber salad, aka dawa cucumber salad, we will be needing some cucumber. As you can see, I've already diced that and it's in a bowl. We need some sorghum that has already been pre-cooked. Sorghum is also known as dawa and it comes in different colors and variety. It's almost like the shape of quinoa. It doesn't take so long to cook sorghum. The secret to it is soaking it for some hours before you cook. I soak this for about 3 to 4 hours before cooking and it takes about an hour 30 minutes to 2 hours. It's really nutritious, very tasty and it's a bit chewy. Now we also need some thinly sliced onions. We need some grilled eggplants. The recipe for these grilled eggplants will be coming up next week by God's grace. They are actually spicy grilled eggplants. So stay tuned for this in case you're interested. And just in case you don't have the time to grill up some eggplants, you can actually substitute avocado for grilled eggplants in this salad recipe. I'll be showing you how to do this as we progress. We need some feta cheese and then of course we need our vinaigrette. You can either grill your eggplant with my recipe or if you're not into spice you can just grill it as it is and it will still taste really nice. So we are going to put together our salad now. So we already have our cucumber in adding on our cooked sorghum. have our sorghum added into the bowl and then we'll be adding on our onions and at this stage I like to give it a toss before adding on the grilled eggplant because it tends to be a little bit tender so I'll give this a toss And see how colorful and beautiful the salad looks. It's already coming together nicely. So right now I'll be adding the vinaigrette. So we're going to toss. So now we've tossed it together really nicely and the last thing that I'll be going in will be the eggplants. Like I said, it's really tender. So I try to be careful with it. I like to apply a little bit of vinegar on top of the eggplant because of course it didn't get the first toss when we added on the first one. Very gentle toss. Just very gentle so that we don't crush up our eggplants. And of course if you're using avocado for this too, I'll advise it goes in at the last stage and you have to be very gentle with the toss as well because they are very soft vegetables. So that's about that for our salad. I will come back and show you how I like to serve this. So that's how I would like to serve my cucumber dawa salad or my cucumber sorghum salad. I hope you give this recipe a go and let us know what your take is on it. I just crumbled a little bit of feta cheese on it. It makes it rich but even without this it still tastes delicious the good thing about this salad is that you can either make it using eggplants or you can substitute your avocado for your grilled eggplants as you can see 
That's the one I made with avocado and it tastes equally great as well. And of course, I left out the cheese topping for this particular one. So depending on your preference, you can use whatsoever you want. You can still add some cheese to this if you wish. Whatsoever works for you. I hope you give this recipe a go and let us know what your take is. Like I said, sorghum is truly rich and it's worth giving a try. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.